Hi guys, my name is Katie. I'm a student at Birmingham, but I'm also working for Living, which is the accommodation services at the university. So I study history and I'm in my final year. So I've had quite a lot of experience with halls um, and also in the private sector as well. Um, so here we are at the moment. We are currently in the hub, which is the Vale Village's reception. So the Vale is where the majority of our first year students live. We have about 3,500 bed spaces here. Um, the majority of the bed spaces are filled up with undergraduates. However, there are a small minority which are, you know, saved for, um, for postgraduates as well. So if you want to, let's, let's sort of move over to the bedroom. <laughs> And we're able to see what some of the accommodation is like inside of the accommodation, inside the university. So, just going into our showroom, um, which is in the Vale Village. Um, and if we head through here. And so here are the different villages that you can live in, um, in the university. We have the Vale, which, as I say, is the majority of where our first-year students live. There's also accommodation as well. And if you actually look behind you, my lovely camel woman um, will be able to tell you and show you a map of the campus and where the different villages are in relation to, you know, the university itself. So here is the university. We've got Selly Oak Village down here, which is about a five-minute walk. The majority of the accommodation there is self-catered, but also en suite. Um, up here we have Pritchett's Park, which we have a mixture of accommodations. And it's about a 10-minute walk to university. And up here, as I say, is the Vale. And that's about a 15 to about 30-minute walk, depending on where you live on the Vale. So we'll go over and show you the room. Plan and en suite. Um, so some of our accommodation is en suite, um, however you can also get, you know, shared sort of accommodation as well, which is when you're not only sharing your, your bathroom, your, your kitchen and your living room, but also your bathroom as well. Um, so, and also at the university we have sort of meal plan accommodation, which is catered accommodation, but also self-catered accommodation as well. So even though you may be in meal plan and catered accommodation, you'll still get a kitchen and a living space to, you know, cook by yourself if, if you want to as well. So we'll head over to the kitchen area. So every single accommodation has its own kitchen and sort of living space, um, except if you are obviously, you know, living in studios, which is where you will have it yourself. But obviously in the rest of our accommodation, um, you know, we, you, you share all of these facilities, um, which is absolutely fantastic. And as I say, this is the best example of um, our new accommodations, which is Chamberlain, um, which was built um, and finished in, I think, 2015. Um, so it just shows you some of the facilities. Every single kitchen has a microwave and some ovens and also um, a couple of fridges as well um, and also a freezer. So um, don't worry about that, mums and dads. You won't be able to, you know, but we do need toasters. You will need to bring your own toasters and obviously your own plates, cutlery, everything like that. Um, so, yeah, so we'll head outside as it's a lovely day today. OK, just show you a bit more of the showroom. OK. So I'll head outside now. Um, so we hold pub quizzes every Sunday, which is absolutely great. Um, and they do hold, you know, weekly nights over there. So we'll head on outside so you can get more of sort of the atmosphere of the Vale. So as I say, the Vale has 3,500 bed spaces. The um, so we'll head down the steps and I'll show you some of the nice sort of scenery that we have on the Vale. So up there we have Shackleton Accommodation. Shackleton Accommodation is also meal, meal plan en suite. Um, so we do have to say that the meal plan en suite is obviously a bit more expensive because you're paying for your food as well as, you know, the facilities that you're getting at uni. So at uni, you'll, you won't have to pay for any Wi-Fi and you also won't have to pay for any of your, your gas electricity because that will all be included in the price. So we can head down the steps now and we'll talk about more of student life here in accommodation on the grass and we've also got a lake however you cannot swim in the lake <laughs> um, you will but as I say it's a lovely day outside today so you get more of a sort of a student atmosphere as it is on the Vale um, so yeah
have we also have Pritchard's Park and Selig Village as well. Both of these villages you can all stay, you know, it's undergraduate first year accommodation. As I say, there may also be some postgraduates as well. But don't worry, we'll be able to, you know, if you're a first year undergraduate student, first year undergraduates are separated from postgraduates. So in your flat, you'll have all people of similar year to you, all be in the same kind of shoes as you when you're moving into uni as well. Um, the other thing that I have to talk about is obviously the guarantee scheme. So if you put Birmingham as your first choice university, you're guaranteed accommodation as long as you apply. Um, if you're a home student, the 31st of May. However, if you're an international student, it will be the 31st of July. And this, this accounts for postgraduates as well. However, postgraduates are not unfortunately guaranteed accommodation if you are a home student. Um, the other thing is if you put Birmingham as your insurance choice, unfortunately you're not guaranteed accommodation as well so we will be allocating you to the remaining kind of rooms that we have left avail available if we have um, any rooms left after we've placed all of the guaranteed students and then if you're applying through clearing again with the insurance we'll be able to sort of allocate you if we do have anywhere however we do have some students that do go into the private sector in their first year which is absolutely fine. At Living, we provide a lot of advice going into private housing for their first years and also second and third years, which is what actually happens at Birmingham. So once you finish in halls your first year, majority of the cases in the second and third year, you'll be sort of, you know, getting together with some friends that you've made over first year and getting a house together um, in Selly Oak, which is a really close, you know, sort of district of Birmingham which is really really close to the Birmingham you know Birmingham uni but that's all from me so thank you very much and we're looking forward to having you join in September bye